true. That is when true. When he said that, it that. was like, damn. So I was like, I really just start going like a silhouette of me or something I outline. Like, can nobody steal that? Yeah, yeah. Because I had to think about that. I, like, damn. I thought about doing that, man, as far as um, on that shit, just doing t-shirts. I was just going to take random pictures of us just doing whatever and just put them on t-shirts and like poses and stuff. So it's a thing of question that like. Who is that person? Or you don't know who that is? Like, weird shit. Like, the funniest joint I ever seen was a Joe Namath joint sitting in a chair. He was sitting in a chair, like, he was leaning back. And if you, you really had to look at the picture to be like, all right, that's Joe Namath. It just looked like some Joe Schmo on the motherfucking picture. That's but it wild. just looked like it just looked like one of them dope pictures because he was just in the pose that looked like, you know, how motherfuckers use swag and all that. Yeah, the motherfuckers just, he on some boss shit. He just looked like he was on something mother and shit like that. So yeah. it's just kind of posing in something dope, like a motherfucker could be posing with a bottle or something in his hand and looking like he the life of the party. And I yeah, want to do me. like a uh, like a ghetto American Gothic. Yeah, freaking. You know the dude with the pitchfork and the yeah, lady. And, the, and the wife yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, I did a joint. That's funny as shit too, man. Cause I, I did a joint for fucking computer class when I did that shit. I did one with Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy and shit. Oh, that's wild. And the, <laughs> and the chick when she saw, it, she was like, "Yeah, I want you to take a real picture and shit, but just kind of give it your own twist to it." And I did that with that, and she was like, "Ah, that was beautiful." And it, yeah. was, it came out dope, but yeah, that would be live. What would the motherfucker be? What would the, what would the pitchfork be? Would it be I the pitchfork? I had it in my head. I was mad. I had it in my head and I forgot it, man, because I had it in my head and I straight forgot the idea I had. It was clear as a bell. And I straight forgot the idea I had, man. It, is, it will not come back. I had something in my head. I was watching the documentary, doing what I do, and they showed the picture, and it just uh, like, bing, it just hit, just like, bing. But I can't remember what like it that. was, man. But as far as t-shirts, if you could think of any dope phrases, like, you'd be surprised what's selling. Like, people just like seeing uh, words, uh, you know, you know, and people like that talented creator, dumb, look at the shit he be wearing. A shirt yeah. that just says, oh, fuck you, or I'm an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Uh, you can do better than that, man. I was, I was trying to figure out the joint, um... I was trying to figure out the joint, um... Um... The shit that, uh... What was that shit, man? The boy that they had on the picture, the white boy that they always had his face on the picture, on his on the t-shirts and all of that, man. He and they crew, but I can't think of what the hell he actually does. But um, yeah, that I can't think of either. They do got a white cat that be hanging with him, huh? But he's like one of their little pictures and shit. He tours with him and all that. Hold on, let me put this up there. Let me see if it pop up. Let it pop up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's take. But uh, um, um, I don't know it's what the man. <laughs> T-shirts keep on crazy and shit. I just realized I threw that up there too. It's Nick Neon and all. I just realized I need a title going on with that shit. Yeah, I want to freak the logo a little bit, man. Switch that up. Yeah, Maybe just make it a... Uh, transparent. Hey, I got to just take the background off of it for the most part, man. You know how to do yeah. that, right? Yeah, I can do all that. Create the Alpha that. channel and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, create the Alpha channel. Use that little wand tool, man. Go right around it, you know. Remove the background. Boom. Save it as out. a... Uh, Save it as a uh, a PNG file, a dot PNG, and there you uh, go. I can honestly do that with the, with the what's the name? I can do that shit right now as we speak. On the, uh, yeah, it really is that easy. Yeah, cause that shit ain't hard at all. I remember I had to do all these damn frames for this other joint, though, man. That shit took a minute. Man, like I was literally cutting all these shits out and shit. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. All right, I keep minimizing the wrong shit. Hold on. But, um, yeah, man, this seems like it could definitely be the move. Now, I realize, too, man, when it's the broadcast joint, you got to start it. So, it's, uh, I just started the broadcast, like, maybe 10 minutes ago or so, something like oh, that. Oh, that's cool, because we were, cause you know what, you write it, do say that it gives you time to prepare. Yeah, so I was looking at Before that. Before you hit it, they, they, they tell you, yeah, then you hit start broadcast, right. Like, right when that's you started cool. so, Right when we started talking about the logos and all that, I hit it. It was like, all right, fuck it. Now we, you know, let's, let's see. Because I was realizing that, too. Kept saying that shit. just looking at me like, start broadcast, start broadcast. Yeah, that'd be a reason why ain't nobody viewing it just yet. Like, all right. And even still. Oh, I know, huh? 
And I was like, all right, but see, still, there still ain't no viewers there yet, but, you know. But then I'm thinking it's also got to be a thing, too. Now, that would be, I guess, embedded it and then going to, um, no, HTML. I don't know if that would be the same thing. Because then it's a thing now. You got to advertise it either on Facebook. Right, yeah. I mean, somewhere like that. This is what somebody might doing. try to... Somebody might try to join and shit. That's cool. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, man, that's it. Like, what you doing? You better get in this conversation. It's going deep. <laughs> and that could just be some shit. And I mean, honestly, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's all just good advertisement right there. Like, shit, yeah, I got to, you talk. know, bring motherfuckers over there and shit. If it would be that easy, then shit. Surprise, Facebook ain't really came up with it yet. I think they do have a video chat option, but it's not as in-depth as this with all the effects and all of that. Streaming the YouTube live, uh, you know, and they got all that them extras and shit. Uh, yeah, people doing that now. Like they do an outdoor concert, that last Jay Z concert, they streamed it live to YouTube at, as a hangout on air. Like crazy, this where it's going. Yeah, yeah, and I mean shit, and I mean you got to figure it out. You can do it in the sense that you can um, you can actually do your own concert. We were talking about that earlier. I remember you were saying that. You could actually do your own fucking concerts. I wish I could remember the name of it. It's a crazy, because they some, they some computer kids. It's called like the SP10Z tour. Something crazy like that. Shit. Sure. Alright, no way. As I realized that too, I put a trademark around that shit. Around the eyes. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just now learning a little bit of photo editing, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a banner. I ain't even made a banner yet, man. But I know it's only gonna take a, a minute. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to get too complex. I just want it to be clean right now, so I can get it going. Shit, man, it makes sense. You figure. Um. Hold on, man. What is this? What is this? Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, copy this. Man, would you see Jane go? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, I, I liked it, man. Yeah? Yeah, it was entertaining to me, man. I liked it. Like, I ain't gonna find, I think this shit kind of, I think it, it was it was a little too long, this shit, man. That whole, that whole, the, the whole shit at the crib and shit was a little bit drawn, drawn out to me and shit. What, at the but end? Like, um, yeah, when they were sitting there, like, all they had to do was really buy the chick, man. A lot of that dialogue was kind of unnecessary. They had the money to buy. All they had to do was really come there and say, look, I just want to buy the broad from you. Yeah. Rather than going through the whole shit. But, like, uh, I don't know. It had this thing. Like, when motherfuckers were saying, though, he was, they was hard on slavery and all that. I don't really think necessarily that. Like, I don't, he ain't really. Shit. If you ain't, ain't never seen, uh, what's that shit called? What's that crazy-ass movie, uh? What's the, it's a crazy movie from the 70s. Fair, farewell, farewell to Uncle Tom or something like that. That's the most gruesome one I ever seen. That one, Django ain't got shit on that. Did you on, uh, you seen Sankofa? No. Sankofa was like, uh, that shit to me was kind of like, um, it was a slave revolt. And they actually showed you how these motherfuckers got together in the mountains and all of that shit in the hills, like the Maroons and all of that. And... Yeah, they were sitting there talking about different information and teaching each other where they was coming from and shit. Like that joint to me, that was pretty dope. Like I didn't really think that Django, when they was trying to say it at first, was like you know they he come hard at him and all that. I was like not nah, really. Like you know he was kind of contracted by the board to be a bounty hunter, so he wasn't just out killing slave owners and shit. He was out just right. killing criminals and shit. But like um. I don't know, that shit was kind of way out, man. I ain't going front. I thought it was just a little too long, though. That was the only thing. But like you like, say, man, to me, it was, a, it was. It was a good old spaghetti western. Yeah, for the most part, because then they got real crazy at the end when the chick stuck her fingers in the ear and shit like that. I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's a silly just a spaghetti, portion of it. Right, it's just a spaghetti western, man. You know, 
I, I actually think they could keep it going. I like the concept of uh, the fastest gun in the South. I think yeah, that's that kind of dope. Shit. Like, they can run with that. Like, I think that's kind of dope. <laughs> that might be. I mean, I was joking and calling the shit Catcher Freeman because that's what it reminded me of. The way they was trying to set it up. And then when yeah. I saw it, it was like it ain't really it wasn't it wasn't like he was on no shit like he was out there. Uh, nah, yeah, he wasn't even on that. Yeah, he was just trying yeah. to love, like dude was saying, it was a yeah. love story. He was just trying to get his girl. That's all he was concerned about was that shit. Like I ain't thinking about none of this other shit out like there. Nope. So I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I ain't yeah, gonna fuck. I, I, I ain't really like it like that. I ain't think it was um. I don't know. It was kind of I weird ass. I watched it a few times, man. It was a, yeah. I watched it a few times, man. It was entertaining. Like I fucked with it when I first saw it, and I was like, you know, I wasn't really blown away by it. Just didn't hit me the way everybody was making it sound and shit. I don't know everybody old beef was that old shit, man. You mad about him saying nigga? Was like, no, not really. Like fuck that shit. That's the least of my troubles and shit. Yeah. I was just mad. That, I was just mad that it took too long. Like, man, all they had to do was buy the chick, man. They ain't really had to shoot everything the fuck up. Like, if the boy yeah. wanted to kill him, man. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it is what it is and shit. What about, um, I'm trying to think, man. What the fuck else came out that was kind of way out? What did I see that I like? Did you like Star Trek? You seen it yet? The new jaw? Yeah. I ain't seen the new one yet. Tay guy told me about it. I just seen, like, the it's first cool. five minutes of it, man. And that shit, to me, the first one was visual as hell. So, you know. The first one was dope. Yeah, I gotta. I ain't, I ain't gonna find it. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Like, the it's last cool. one that I seen that I liked. What was the last movie that I liked? Uh, damn, man. Um, that's fucked up. I think the last one that I really looked at all the way through that I fucked with was the John stand-up guys and shit. I don't think I've seen that. That's Christopher Walken and uh, Al Pacino and shit. Like, was it Al Pacino? Oh, I yeah, think I Al forgot Pacino. about that movie. And that joint, I ain't gonna funny, it was good and funny. Real good and silly and I shit. I forgot like, about you know, that, man. Damn, I wanted was, to see that. It was good and silly and shit. I'm trying to think, though, man. It ain't too much else that I done seen. Like, everything that came out, I started looking at bits and pieces of it, but I ain't see it all the way through. Like, uh... Did you like Cloud Atlas? I ain't see that joint. That's a, uh interesting movie, Atlas. man. That's an interesting story, man. Who was in that joint? Cloud Atlas. Who uh, was Halle man? Berry, Tom Hanks. Alright, yeah, I uh, remember hearing the title, but no, I ain't never seen that. It's joint. a weird movie, how they move through time, and it's the same people, but like, in different points in time, and they go all the way to the future, when they get to the future. It's an interesting story, man. It's a real interesting story. How they depicted the future, man. It, it, it's real. <laughs> it was cool though. Out. It wasn't bad, man. It wasn't bad at all. It's long, but it wasn't bad. Cause the last joint I'm thinking I seen with Tom Hanks. Mm, can't say I didn't see shit with Tom. They Hanks in makeup so much. tough that you probably didn't recognize them. Cause the makeup, the way they got them made up as different people throughout time, it's like it's crazy. Oh yeah, I would have to see it then. I would have to say it. It's cool though, the effects, everything, the storyline, it's, it's interesting. I would have to say it. Like, uh, I, had, uh, I sat back one night and just watched it. It's been long. I sat back one night and just watched it. It really takes you on a little journey, man. Like throughout time, they go from the slavery period, it's weird, all the way like to the way future, where it's like uh, they doing some, it's almost like, I think it's the same dudes that made the Matrix. They doing some crazy shit where they uh clone it. They breed these Asian chicks to be waitresses, to be servers at this restaurant, like in the future. And they like treat them like crap. Like the customers be like bending them over the table and squirting mustard on them. Like they come in, grabbing them on the ass. Like they just treat them like nothing. But they like uh they were supposed they they were bred to do that. So they supposed to be like kind of like to a sense like mindless or whatever. But one of them, she's like, she's questioning this shit. Like, why I gotta be like this? Like, and then when she found out, like, how they were being treated, like, they were doing that same thing. Like, uh, they would only live, they had a short lifespan, and they would liquefy them and then feed them to the other ones that were alive doing that crazy shit in the juice box. It was crazy. Man, that shit is crazy right there. It was nah, crazy. I didn't see that shit. Yeah, so with these people that wanted to rescue him, like that's fucked up, you know. So these people, you know, wanted to free him and shit. So, so this whole revolt started, and this revolt, like you know, like this message this Asian chick sent out, and went, you know, this is in the time when we had like humans had left Earth, 
and the shit that like went back to like the people on earth at that time were like primitive it was Tom Hanks and them they were speaking this crazy language it's an interesting movie man you, you should check it out yeah I'm gonna have to see that cause I ain't really seen nothing like that in a minute and the last one I think I seen with Holly Berry and it was uh some shit she was like a telephone operator or something oh yeah shit yeah like that. that was yeah I think this came Cloud Atlas came out last year or 2011 maybe last year I, I, I remember hearing that title before man I remember hearing that title before you seen the joint Flight was it Flight? I like I Flight man I, I'm still a Denzel fan yeah, I ain't gonna front, man. He played the shit out of that part. Man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, that shit fucked me up. And he was sitting there, was like, God help me. She was like, What did you say? I said, God help me. Uh, I'm drunk right now. I was like, Damn, <laughs> he's really going through that. The way he made his mouth move and all of that shit was just yeah. like, Yeah, I was drunk. Yeah, when like, he took that right bump. When he took that bump and he looked up. Oh uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, he said, I'm, I'm back, back brother. <laughs> I'm back, brother. I was like, oh, shit. He had that whole mode going on. And shit. I was oh, like, all right. Oh, man. Yeah, that was an entertaining. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was an entertaining. That drunk yeah, kind of fucked me up. And shit. I wasn't expecting it to be like that, man. I was me like, neither. damn, this shit really took a twist. Like, all right. Yeah, I ain't know was movie, going with it. Man, they doing cool. Iron Man 3 was... It was all right, man. I, I ain't it was all right, it. huh? It was all right. I like the fact that they brought out the whole, the hall of the suits and all of that, but it still was all right. I don't, I mean, I ain't going front. I think really that's that whole move with Disney, man. Like, they, they kind of made it more like family. Like, because it was, it got kind of goofy to me, man, when, uh, when, uh. That's interesting, when, man. You hit that right on the head. You know, Disney say now, uh, for this era, their target market is teenagers. Yeah, see, that's kind of weird to me, man. Like, um... That's why they did um, that John Carter and all of that shit. Yeah, see, that John... And see, to me, I, everybody told me the John Carter drone was dope. I'm like, it's Disney, so I ain't gonna see no smut, and I ain't gonna hear no cursing. I it was so cool. I it was cool. I heard cool. it was all right, though. My, my, my cousin keep telling me the drone was all right, and I was like, I gotta see it one day and shit. But, like, um... The drone that fucked me up about uh, the Iron Man drone is a part one of... Um, when the Iron Patriot landed in, the, I guess it was fucking Afghanistan or wherever he landed at, and he yeah. got the call from Tony, and he was like, you know, I can't really talk right now. I'm a little busy, and I'm like, man, it's it's too goofy. Like I don't really like yeah. all that. They get the going, yeah. Yeah, it's too jokey and shit. But I mean, at the same token, though, yeah, I, I fuck with Spider Man. Um, Spider Man was live as shit to me. Fucking uh. I want to see what this fucking man of steel shit is going to do because this thing looks ridiculous, man. I I, I kind of um, I, 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 I got mixed feelings with the trailer, man. I got real yeah. mixed feelings. Which one? Which one did you see? Which trailer did you see? I think I only seen the first one. All right, cause they got one joint I seen it that actually shows um it shows when they sent him to Earth and they oh, show really? Zod. Yeah, they show Zod blowing up or destroying Krypton and all that. And they like, look, we're going to oh. get him out of here and all of that. And I mean, it shows what goes on. But no, then they show him. That. Yeah, because this show, when they, when they hit Earth and all of that, like, you know, he's a regular kid and all of that. But it's it, it's dope, man, because they got one part where he talking to, uh, I forget what the, what his pop name was on Earth. But when he talking oh, to that Jonathan, boy, and he, yeah, Jonathan, yeah, he, yeah. he talking to him, and they looking at the spaceship together and shit. And he was sitting there crying like, "What, Dad? What does this mean?" He was like, "Man, that means that you know we were wrong, son. We're not the only ones in the universe." And he was like, "Does this still mean that I'm your son?" And he hugged him. He was like, "Man, you'll always be my son." And shit. He was just like, "You just got exceptional shit with you." And like yeah. he was like, we always we always knew it was something about you and shit. But then they show him like growing up, he got a beard and shit. He working like at the buoys and shit, working at the docks and all of this type shit. And he just doing all this a little amazing shit and all of that. But then the boy come to Earth looking for him. Like the jaw look dope because it show you like that shit. Now, like, I ain't see all of that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it show you that shit of kind of like all right now he's a he's a grown man but he's still an alien and he's still trying to fit in. He's still trying to find his way in this world and shit, knowing what he can do. But not knowing, I'm not just running around doing any old thing and shit. It's like, yeah. what's my purpose here and shit. So the drone looked dope, and the chick is like, all right, what's the S on your chest stand for? And he like, I'm sorry. Well, on 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 our planet, that symbol on your chest is the letter S. And he was like, oh, on my planet, that's just the symbol for hope. Like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about with that. Yeah, S, I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah I, I saw. Mean, I think I, I did see like, that. Damn. 
Yeah, and that to me was like, all right, now that's dope. So he yes. ain't Superman in this motherfucker. He's still running by his real name and all of that shit. He's still kal and shit. Yeah. And, you know, Superman ain't even a name for him. He's just a man. I mean, that shit, that's to me, it might be all right. They need to come I'm up with something. I'm going to definitely check it out. I'm going to definitely check I'm going to take the key. I'm going to definitely check it out. Yeah, that shit come out they on Friday. Oh, yeah, it that, do? Man. Yeah, that shit come out Friday. Now I think about that shit. I just bugged off of that shit. It's like, damn. Yeah, that shit, um, it looks alright, man. It looks alright. Like, I ain't, shit, shit has been different ever since the fucking film school, man. I've been looking at shit a whole lot different now. I be it like, kind of jade you a little bit, huh? Yeah, like, man, because I be sitting there, be weird. I be looking at shows with motherfuckers. I be looking at certain shit, and I be talking to myself. Yeah, you got the lighting coming from the left side. And yeah. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Like, I'm just looking at how they did that. Damn, look at that angle. That's a hell of a close-up right there. Like, what yeah. the fuck? I just want to hear the story. You over there talking, and I'm like, yeah, I done forgot all about the storyline and shit. I'm trying to look yep. at the visuals and shit of the joint. So that's it how is kind I of got fucked with up. It, it does. Yeah. It kind of jades you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how man, I got into like, it, man. I'm starting to really pay attention because I want to do videos so bad. So I'm starting to really look at lighting and all of that shit, man. Yeah, the angles man. And like, wow, okay, I see now when they talk about make sure the camera is raised above your head so you don't get the shadows under your neck and all that. Yeah, shit. Like, wow, yeah, yeah. And that's know, what I be okay. bugging off, too. I be looking at, like, and I look at the shows and shit. I be like, all right, look. And motherfuckers probably don't even realize it. Be like, do you ever see shadows? Like, you never see shadows. Yeah, no matter where bro. they at. Like, you never see shadows. <laughs> yeah, bro. And I be like, and that yeah. shit looks crazy. And, like, you, it's almost kind of a thing of, like, all right, in the real world, you know, there would be shadows a certain lighting and this and that, but in that setting on TV, man, it never shadows. Motherfuckers could be standing against the sun behind a wall or next to the wall, and you won't see nothing. Damn. I'd be like, damn, it's this shit is crazy. Job. But no it's kind of weird, man. It's weird as shit. I mean, already being an analytic, I ain't really need nothing to take away from the movie experience. I know, huh? <laughs> Like, man, I'm just doing too much and shit. But, like, um, nah, man, that just... I don't know, man. Some of this shit they got coming out, man, it's pretty loud. Like, um... I don't know who the hell the Guardians of the Galaxy are. I don't know. And I, I'm, a, I'm a comic book fan. I don't know who that is. Uh, that ain't the Watchers and all of that, is it? Wow. Like, the like the Linear Men and all of them type dudes and shit like that. I don't really know if it's the Linear Men, but I know, um... I don't know who they are, man. I've never heard of Guardians. That's supposed to be, like, the next movie. And they already talking about baby. I'm like, they've casted Benicio del Toro. I'm like, what the hell is he finna do? Oh shit, hell no. I can't even see him in that shit. I ain't cool. like that. I didn't like that joint with Savages. That shit that they was in. It was funny. It, it was a, if it was a comedy, then the shit would have been alright. But I ain't really like that whole shit. Them two motherfuckers taking on the the, the Mexican cartel and all of that shit. I couldn't buy it. I couldn't buy it. But like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, because all I could think of with the Guardians, I remember the Linear Men, and I remember the boys huddled Superman in the comic book when Doomsday came back, and they was like, Superman can't kill this dude, and we got to get rid of him. Like, normally we don't intervene and shit like that, but Superman can't kill this dude, and this dude is going to fuck around and kill Superman again, so we can only put him in an anti-matter zone. And they, they, they threw this motherfucker in the anti-matter zone, and it was like, he's going to be there for eternity, until he figures out how to get out or whatever the fucking happened. And he was like, we did this, you know what I mean, just to intervene, because this is the greatest or the most destructive force in the universe and shit, like, he won't stop. And that's the, I like, I like Doomsday, man, that motherfucker, man, will not stop. He don't get tired, he don't take breaks, he just, you hit him and that motherfucker yeah. feels it, responds to it, but he hits you back with the same shit you hit, he adapts to it and shit. I fuck with the ball, man, and that's that shit me up. Yeah, Doomsday was the boy that killed Superman in the comic oh, books. Oh, Doomsday. Oh, yeah. Doomsday. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, and then Doomsday. They, and, then, yeah. and they brought him back and shit. They brought him back in another joint. He had to rumble Superman again and shit. And that's how they was. was like, man, we had, you know, the linear men was sitting there watching. It was like, normally we don't intervene with all of this shit. But uh, we got to because this motherfucker's going to end up killing Superman again and shit. It was like, no matter how yeah. hard Superman hit him, he keep coming back. And it was like, yeah. our only option is just to throw him in an antimatter zone and shit. Like, we can't kill him because we don't know how to kill him and shit. You can't chop him. You can't blow him up. He responds to all of this shit. He that's adapts crazy. to all of that shit. But, uh, yeah, the antimatter zone. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's like Marvel. That's like a negative zone. That's what they had yeah. to do. That's what they had to do with Galactus. They couldn't. 
Just Stop had him floating it. around there and shit. Yeah, just had him floating around and shit. I was like, dude. Because he could just feed off of that, you know what I'm saying, that ne that negative, you know what I'm saying, energy. It's an interesting it's science. So he could just feed off of all that raw negative energy. Basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, that's interesting. That was an interesting. I'm like, they was thinking like a motherfucker. Man, look, can't get rid of this dude. I was like, set, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, uh, let's see, I'm going to try to see if this shit will work. Let me see something. Let me see something. Where is this? Where is this? At? Where, oh, wait, wait. Where did I say that? Where did I say that? Where did I say that? Did I say that for those times? Save it as a JPEG. Save it in documents. This is something. I'll do this too. Oh shit. But uh, I don't know, man. Hold on. Alright, let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. You can access your Google Drive. Oh, that's no. Alright. Alright, let me try something different. You still do it as a ping joint. That joint, I'm trying to get the background to disappear on here. Man, let's fucking with it. Do 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 Studio mode. Suggested if I understand studio mode use that high quality skin and codex of the two channel input. I got that. Another consideration studio mode that it does not have noise that we need a quiet environment. Oh. Oh, that's what that's noise with. Yeah. 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 Basic set of left hand, but basically yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to smooth this thing out real quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey man, you talk to D? Yeah, I have, man. Actually, shit, now that you mention it. What's up with me, <laughs> man? He was chilling, man. He got uh, hanging here, man. Hanging out with Fate. <laughs> with who? Who, who the fuck? With Fate, his son. Uh, oh, alright, yeah, because I remember, he was, I remember Fate posted something about him smoking green with him and shit. I remember talking about him earlier and shit. But I was wondering what was up with him and shit. Uh, who was that? Julie told me that shit. Like, he was sleeping in the car or some old shit like that. They found him behind the crib or some shit. Some yeah, shit man, like he's that. supposed to, man, you know, I don't know what man, to say, man. man. He, he, uh, you know, paid doing his thing, man. He, he, you know, getting in trouble at school, man. And, yeah, and, man, and he yeah, said he just, you know, wilding out with Julie and she kind of spoiling him, so. Yeah. You know, be right. hanging out with him more, you know what I'm saying? But at the that's same time, right. you know, that's it is what right. it is, man. D, B, and D, man. I don't know that's what to right. say, you know, I, I don't know what to say, man, shit. Hey man, hey shit, as long as he alright, I mean, that's it, that's news to me, because whatever the motherfucker doing, man, I know he, you know, shit, he and doing I, his thing I, and yeah, shit. Yeah, when I talked to him, man, he seemed like he was cool, man, but at the same time. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was man, just... you know, <laughs> like I say, call me square, man, call me. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, man, I think, man, because he got this girl, man, that he, you know, he already got him a girl, he got this girl that he with. 
and she wouldn't just she be like she honest, you know. And you know, it just kinda just, you know, I don't know, man. It seemed like he was a little last time I talked to him, man, he was a little too hyper, man. Oh shit. Well, you fucking with an Asian broad or something like that? Nah. She black. Oh. Alright, alright. I remember he was telling me something, man. That was a while ago. Oh no, man. man. Did you say he was too hyper about what? <laughs> what do you mean by too hyper? Period, man. You know what uh, I'm saying? I, sick. Man, yeah, it it it, it just sick. reminded me of that eighth half, man. Oh shit, yeah, that eighth half was a little trip, man. You know, for those that don't know, if you're looking at this, yeah, eighth half was a fucking <laughs> learning experience. I forgot bro. about that. God <laughs> damn it! Why we bring this? <laughs> eighth half was some shit, boy. That oh shit! shit. Was going hey. Down. You got to take yeah. this down. It, this shit might go to your channel when we finish. You got to take this down. Oh, man, shit, man. I forgot we was on air, man. Hey, Damn man, it, Wu. I forgot Ain't we was... Ain't nobody even looking at it, though, man. That's the total. Hold on, I'm going to end the broadcast now and shit.